Hello and welcome to SB's Academy. The week before, we had started with the principles of business communication, and we shall complete the remaining part in this video. We will also learn about the methods of business communication, the ones which have become an integral part of 21st century communication. Watch the full video to learn more about Skype calls, video conferencing, Zoom calls, Google Meet, and business reports. Happy learning! To talk about some more important issues regarding business communication and how important it is in the modern day uh, corporate world. We need to understand that especially when, uh, take for example in the IT sector where teams are working remotely. There is a team working on a project in a particular company in India and a similar team is working say in America. So it creates uh, many uh, practical problems like over, that is there is no overlapping of time zones. So people are working in different shifts, right? And you know, of course, the cultural barrier is very, very important, right? We cannot forget that. So regular communication, regular communication, suppose, you know, um, your client side is sitting in the US and you have a very important festival, say Durga Puja or Diwali back in your city. And of course, they may not understand the importance of the uh, festival and uh, suppose an important project is coming up. So if the person who is sitting on the other side of your place understands how these things are important, so you can tweak the work schedule accordingly, right? So this is the reason why business communication is important. And Definitely proper business communication helps in customer satisfaction and employee retention. That is really very important because uh, the more you communicate, the more you can iron out your differences. That is really important and people will know, people will know that what is really important for you, right? Of course, it builds a better company culture and workplace environment if things are dealt in a transparent manner, if people are ready to listen to you, if you are ready to listen to people. So that creates a healthy workplace environment. As you know that in most of the workplaces over here, uh, the entire thing is, you know, it's very stressful. There's too much of work pressure, too much of expectation, so many people saying different things. So it is actually expected that if you really have somebody who hears you out, it is always good. You know, you have that support, you have that cushion, you have that comfort zone, right? Next, we will talk about the methods of business communication. What are the methods of business? The most common method of business communication in the digitally uh, run corporate world is web-based communication that can take place through Skype or through any of the apps or you know the internal communication systems or the apps. Video conferencing, you know video calls, meetings are taking place through video calls. Employees are working from home, most of the employees are working from home nowadays. Reports, reports whether you are sending your reports, e-reports right or whether it's a handwritten one it is a very strong indication of the work progress how much you have worked if you just tell, tell your boss I have worked on this and that that won't do you have to document it so documentation is very important and the documentation takes place through business reports business reports so that reports are very very important it's a very important form of business communication. Next, we have presentations. Presentations, as I said, I'm going to uh, take up presentation thoroughly in one of my coming videos. So presentation is, you know, whether you are uh, showing your observation about a recent market trend or you are showcasing a new product that your company is about to launch. You know, business presentations, they are the go-through, just they are the go-to thing 
uh, regarding that. You are using audiovisual uh, material or you're sh showing material prepared in soft copies. You know, you know how presentations are, corporate presentations are. Next, we have telephonic meetings. Telephonic meetings, maybe, you know, that can actually happen through Skype call these days. You know, telephonic calls. And you, ha of course, you have face-to-face -face meetings once. Uh, when we were living in the pre-COVID world, we had actually face-to-face -face meetings with people, with, with clients coming over to our place or we are going on site to the client's place. There we are having a face-to-face -face interaction. Uh, yes, another interesting thing regarding business communication is suggestion books. Now, I am going to tell you something very interesting regarding this. You know, recently there were rounds on social media about this partic these particular apps, Tulish, Saraha, Hushup and all. You know, people where people are posting anonymous messages to a particular person who has opened an account. You know from where this concept comes from? This concept comes from actually from the corporate world. That is when employees have to say something to their superior to express their grievance, to give their suggestion. And uh, given the culture, the work culture in most of the places and especially in the Asian countries, in a country like India, you are always scared to open up before your boss with the fear of getting marked or you know your name coming up which might go against you. Not all of us are brave enough and obviously we have reasons for that because that is the work culture in India. So, you know, there are suggestion boxes where you can drop your suggestions there, right? Whether your grievances, your suggestions, suggestions for improvement, you can write them anonymous, anonymously if you, uh, if, if, if you like. Then your bosses, after a time, they'll open the suggestion box, they'll go through it, and they will try to implement uh, whatever you might have suggested, uh, provided it is feasible for them, right? And of course, we have business letters and, mo uh, and uh, memos. These are the traditional ones. Uh, these are a very integral part of communication. So this is all about uh, business communication. If you find this video is, uh, today's lesson is, you know, more than explanation, it's um, uh, more factual actually. So it has full of information. It's packed with facts, right? So if you find this video interesting, or useful. Please do like, share and comment and do not forget to subscribe our channel. Hope you had an interesting learning experience. Happy learning. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to SB's Academy channel on YouTube for more such content. Follow SB's Academy's page on Facebook for SB's tips on grammar, vocabulary and communication skills in English. Don't forget to like and share the content. Leave your views in the comments and let us know what else would you like us to cover here. Happy learning!